Who really want war? Who really want to spar with a beast? Raise hell, so I better call in a priest. Pardon my speech, but I'm hotter than the devil when I'm high up on the level that a god couldn't reach. Oh, damn. damn. What's going on guys? Welcome to another Madden 22 video. In this video, you guys are gonna see my roster as it stands right now. The day Legends dropped, a bunch of Legends came into the game. I wrapped up my 24 hour stream earlier this morning on Twitch. If you are not following on Twitch, twitch.tv forward slash problem right, drop a follow. And before we get into this roster on YouTube, Hit the sub button if you haven't already. We did hit 40,000 re recently. Thank you guys so much for that. And if you enjoyed this video at the end, hit the like, leave a comment, and let me know what you guys think. All right, so Legends came out today. Unfortunately, um, I ripped packs. Auction House was down. I did pull full Legend LT, tried him. I am a fan of LT's movement. He does seem like he's the shiftiest player that I've used in the backfield more shifty than McCaffrey, faster than him as well. However, evasive and jukebox, not usable in my opinion. They take up too much stamina and they don't really give you that much of an advantage as far as your moves go, in my opinion, early on, early takes, all right? Could be bad. We'll see what ends up happening down the road, but my early takes is I don't think it's worth it. So that's where I stand with LT. Now, I pulled these other pieces. Unfortunately for me, I was not able to put them in sets or buy the rest of the pieces. So um, hours later, and I right now, just before I put this video up, I bought a bunch of the other cards that I thought would be good to use and good to try with my roster. So that's what you guys are gonna see here. So you can see in the top right corner, we are 87 overall and then 87 on offense, 87 defense. So basically across the board, we have a 1.9 million coins. I wanna stay on top of the coins and really just have the best roster throughout the year so you guys can see the top cards i can showcase you those cards give you guys my opinion let you guys know what i think about these cards whether you should buy them whether you should sell them etc so let's look at this roster we'll start on the offensive side of the ball um, we're going to start with who i think is the best quarterback in the game which is justin fields i think for me personally i love to run around with my quarterback and he gives he he gives me the ability to make broken plays into something. So play breaks down, nothing open. I can take off with his legs. And I do that necessarily with Josh Allen as well as Justin Fields. He's drastically faster and you guys can see that in game. Now, Josh Allen does have a set feet lead that does give him a more velocity on some of his footballs, which is great. He seems like the meta quarterback. If that's for you, then that's perfect. But for me, I love Justin Fields. So he's there, quarterback one. Halfback, again, I talked about LT. He's going to be the starter and halfback for a little bit. But we're still going to keep Derrick Henry with Bulldozer. And we're going to keep Christian McCaffrey out the backfield as well. Receiver-wise, we picked up Brandon Marshall. I have not powered up some of these legends yet, so bear with me. These guys are not the powered-up version, so you can add plus one speed to him as well. But there he is, Brandon Marshall, 90 speed currently, six foot five at the wide receiver position. Um, I think I'm going to go Devontae Smith because he has route tech and then Jamar Chase because of his speed. He's the fastest receiver on my team. Tyree Kill will then be the replacement. He'll be on the bench with uh, Randy Moss as far as receivers go. From left to right on the line, we got Trent Williams, Quinnen Nelson, Bruce Matthews, new legend, Zach Martin, and Ryan Ramchick. These guys will all have post-up ability. I think that ability has been solid for me. It makes their double team blocks better um, when they're triggered. I think it's been effective. So they all have that. I don't see identifier for Bruce Matthews, unfortunately. I, I do want to try that eventually, but none of these linemen have it um, as far as I know. So that's my old line. And then at, at tight end, I got Kittle um, powered up to 89 overall. I do not have, I'm not level 50. So unfortunately, I don't have the top version of this card and then we have Pitts, who is a really fast tight end 88 speed i actually like Pitts because he offers that speed um and that's my offense as far as um the current squad goes we'll definitely let you guys know how these legends are doing throughout the days again you can watch that on twitch.tv forward slash problem right i stream i stream every day all right let's talk about the defensive side of the ball so i'm running big nickel which um a meta formation last year i brought it over to this year's madden and i'm running four d linemen currently with seven dbs i run two safeties in the box at the linebacker position and then you have two corners out wide three safety strong safety and then a nickelback so with that being said off of 
off of that defensively my four down linemen currently are going to be from left to right i'm going to put where on the left side of the screen which will be right end at the d tackle position we're going to go quinnon williams and vita Vea with inside stuff so inside stuff to me right now seems pretty solid because anyone that you're going against that's running inside zones or they run like halfback dives, anything like that on the goal line, like these inside stuff should help. So Quentin Williams and Vita Vea both get that. And then at left end, I'm gonna run Jack Youngblood. I haven't been a big fan of Aaron Donald thus far. So unless something changes like drastically, Aaron Donald will not be playing on my roster. Linebackers, these guys are strictly like special teams guys. So special teams players. Again, I have Lorenzo Carter who was Followed early on. I don't need him at this very moment, but he is there. All right. Now let's talk about the secondary. So we added three new players in the secondary over the last two days. We'll start at the cornerback one position, Revis Island. You see him right here. Again, these guys are not fully powered up yet because I just haven't done that. I've tried to get these guys on my team as fast as possible. So I can make this video and show you the updated roster. But here's Revis Island. 91 speed he will go up to 92 once he's powered up um you're gonna look at his man coverage 88 man coverage 90 zone you see marlon humphrey on the other side that's my opposite side cornerback so revis and marlon humphrey brand new additions at the cornerback position in the slot i'm gonna play play jair alexander in the slot 88 overall you see him right here um, Ed Reed, brand new to the roster as well. Strong safety, he's gonna be up top. You know how he gets, he's a ball hawking safety. Amazing safety, first ballot Hall of Famer, Ed Reed. Like, a, I, I, Ed Reed, one of my favorite players in the secondary of all time, so having him out there is gonna be dope. Again, his speed goes to 93 once you power him up, I'm pretty sure, so. Um, that's gonna be interesting because he's gonna be able to run finally with like, the Hesters that people have that I'm going against, like all these pro players that they're bringing Hester to the field and Ed Reed should be able to help me out when it comes to that. So he'll be up top at strong safety. At free safety, I'm actually gonna be running um, Savage, I'm pretty sure, um, at the free spot. And then the two guys that are, actually we might go Sneed up top, because Sneed has some crazy speed too. So Savage might be in the box now, which would mean um, you see Sneed 91 speed. I'm bringing Savage in the box as my um, box linebacker, um, opposite of me. I think uh, Adderley has been great too. Like Adderley jumps a bunch of stuff in the play. I don't know. So Adderley or Savage will be one of my linebackers. Um, we'll decide. Adderley has been playing good in that spot, but I haven't tried anyone but him. We'll see how Savage does. I think uh, Adderley does a good job coverage wise. Savage offers a little bit more hit power. Um, and then somebody that I think is a must this early on, is this more card he is amazing user 92 speed six foot one um he has hit power as well 86 hit power he's caused a couple fumbles for me since i've got him and i've I actually went against him and he's caused fumbles against me so right now in the game i don't see a ton of fumbles but um he has been one of the players that's been able to cause them so i think that you guys definitely should check him out especially if you use your safeties in the box at linebacker it just makes too much sense because he offers speed he's tall he's fast like all that just makes too good for a user he's the best user i've used thus far so that's my defense currently um special teams we got tucker i'm gonna run chase back there deep for kick returns currently specialists none of this i mean you guys know these are just players that are on my roster obviously i want to talk about one thing um as well though these strategy cards these have made a big difference in my team I was able to get two that affect the wide receiver position with speed. So I'm getting plus two speed for all my wide receivers currently. And then I'm getting plus two speed for all my DBs. So um, I talked about this in another video, how you acquire these cards. And these are the ones that you're probably gonna want on your team. I mean, everyone's different, but speed is probably what you want. Um, and you want it to affect all your DBs and you want it to affect your wide receivers. So this is the meta right now. Plus two speed to DBs, plus two speed to wide receivers. That's where I'm at. I'm currently running the Pats offense and the New York Giants defense. And I'm, I think I'm ranked third in Mutt currently um, based off of uh, wins and my record. So that's where we're at. 
hopefully you guys take this and uh, let me know in the feedback let me know in the comment section what you think of my roster who you want to see what you're thinking of these cards who you like who you don't like who you want me to upgrade downgrade etc if there's other players out there you want to see russell wilson you want to see johnny unitas like who you want to see me use with my roster let me know in the comment section thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys on the next video